Alrighty, folks. Under further, under further investigation, under further investigation, Barry, you really should have shut that live off. You piece of shit. You don't think Barry's a bad dude? The guy we're talking, Mr. Wilson, he just made you a very popular man, more than the news did. He just put you out to people outside of Ohio to let them know that you killed a baby. You fucking are going to prison for two years for hurting a six-week-old child that you made it brain dead by shaking it. Told the cops you did it at that time. The kid dies 21 fucking years later. And now you're charged with manslaughter and you get two years. And you got Barry on the phone telling you he hopes you don't go to jail? That's all I care about, man, is you don't go to jail. Barry, you think he's a good dude. Anybody who wants to support Barry, think about that. This man made a six-week-old kid brain dead. That kid lived in a vegetative state for 21 fucking years while their family had to watch that kid lay there and hurt and suffer. The man gets charged when the kid dies. He gets two years. You got Barry Beamer saying, Barry Beamer put him out there. He left the fucking thing on, on record and everything else. I mean, Barry puts your name out there, Mr. Wilson. Anybody that wants to see the news story, go to Ohio and just type in. Type Carlisle in. County. Yeah. It's all over the news down there. And Barry, you've mentioned this dude in several videos, so, so you delete your life, but this dude still find it. Yeah. Like, you piece of shit. He, he killed his friend, kid. Barry. I think you did this, Barry. I think you tried to throw your friend underneath the bus, Barry, which, which he, he hurt a kid. I got no, I got no remorse for this guy. It pisses me and dude, off. If you don't, if you have to turn yourself in Wednesday, I hope they give you the welcoming you deserve, buddy. Because you are going to be a very, 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 I hope you have lots and lots and lots of money to, to, to get you a daddy to take care of you in there because you are going to need it. That's a fact, Jack. Who could shake a six a six week old baby? Who could shake a baby at all? I've dated I've dated girls that's had babies that cried, and I've never once looked at little girl or little girl and go, I should shake her to shut her up. No, it's not right. There's something wrong with you if you if you are capable of fucking doing that. Go listen to the phone call when Barry's live, dude. And hell, I'm I'm pretty agitated with those situations. I might even get the phone call out there. I don't know yet, but listen, he is your friend though, dude. He just put you out there to all his fans, all our fans. There's going to be people in other states looking you up now because of Barry Beamer. But he's your buddy. He looks out for his friends. And, in the, and listen, in the phone call, I'm telling you, Barry had an assault charge in the early 2000s. I'm, one of these days when I don't have nothing else to do, which I don't know when that's going to be because I am fucking running ragged. Well, may that P.I. will get back to you. I don't know. He threw out the face of the map. I'm not seeing him. Man. Anyway. Fucking in the early 2000s, Barry has an assault charge. In this phone call with this guy, Barry tells this tells this Mr. Wilson, for mine I had a nine thousand dollar fine, and you hear this Wilson say, "Well, I'm hoping I don't have to pay him any money." Nine hundred dollar fine. Or yeah, nine hundred, whatever the fuck, whatever. And Barry's like, "In my case, I had a nine hundred dollar fine, and I was done with everything." You know, what I mean, I just, you know, he had an assault back then. I'm maybe, telling you. Maybe that's why Ryan went to live with his grandma. Maybe. Maybe Barry is the reason why his kid has the issues. Makes you wonder if his assault is on a child. If anybody can dig that fucking assault charge up, it's, it was like 2002, if I remember right. It was in 2002. I can't be for sure on that though. It was the early 2000s. Well, right? Ryan would have been old, really, old, like maybe, maybe it was 98. He had something in 98, and then he had something in 2002. It was assault. It was an assault charge in the early 2000s. I want to know what that assault was on. And this is the truth, and this is a God's honest truth, dude. I and my buddy, my best friend, he has a young kid. If he was to shake his kid and cause his kid, I would fuck him up. I would disown my friend. You wouldn't be my friend anymore. You hurt a child, man. There is no forgiveness for that shit. And I don't want to hear shit. And listen, his in 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 when this happened, he was charged with assault. But when the chick died, they opened reopened the case, and this man pled no contest. But, to manslaughter. Well, you know the funny part? Well, okay, that's what it was, manslaughter, right? Yeah. What, you can go look at the fucking news. Go listen. To, you don't even have to, to read, he, folks. Just go listen to the news article. And Barry, he can thank you for all this. And uh, one more thing before I get off here. What got this all started, which he, there's no forgiveness. I don't want to hear she was crying. And I I just wanted peace because you go to another room in the house, let her cry it out. You don't pick your kid up and go, listen, if my kid, one of my kids hurt, their, hurt their child or a child, I would never disown my child. But he would have to go to prison and he would have to face the consequences for his fucking actions. But I would be there to pay his shit. And, but I would never make up any excuse for him. I would never say it was okay. He would have to face or she would have to face the consequences of their actions. Because you don't hurt kids. But you, I would never disown my child. You know what I mean? 
Mr. Wilson, I'm sorry that Barry put you out here like this. But, but you, you killed, you hurt a child. You kind of have it coming. I mean, just being honest. He was ordered two years in jail or prison, wherever the fuck he's going. And I'm a surprised 70, J.D. DeLay or somebody haven't picked up on a story yet on that. And a $7,500 fine. And that's all I got to say on this. You guys can go see us live. And Mr. Wilson, again, this thank is your Barry thank Barry Beamer. This is your fucking friend that did this to you. He didn't even he didn't even have the fucking respect enough for you. Which I don't know. I don't. And before anybody um, talks about loss, listen, it's on the news in Ohio. If the news can say it, I can say it. Plain and fucking simple. He was fucking. He was charged with it in uh, January. And fucking found guilty of it in February. February 29th. It's when the, when he put no contest, they sent him to two years and gave him a big fine. And the only reason I'm doing this is to really show, well, for so one. Barry's, Barry's character, dude. It's Barry's character, dude. For one, Barry throws his friend under the bus. He don't give a fuck he's on live. He don't give a fuck if his fans see that shit. For two, Barry's talking to the dude saying, man, I, all I care about you don't go to jail, buddy. I mean, you don't deserve to go to jail, buddy. You don't deserve to go to jail for hurting a child that died 21 years later. You don't deserve to, 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 to pay your penance. That kid suffered for 21, and her family suffered for 21 fucking years. But you can't man up and go give two years of your life to show that you're actually sorry and there's some remorse in you and there's some kind of human fucking nature in you, some kind of fucking something that's rehabilitative. Unfucking believable, man. And at the end of this, I'm going to put the, the whole the recording. This shows what to Barry, you're a piece of shit, dude. I mean, but you same think Barry would have a problem hurting a child? For the motherfucker that says, a lot of mine are attractive people don't act on it. You mean to tell me Barry Beamer's not going to act on it? I would fuck my, I, I would beat the fucking shit out of my buddy if he would have done this to his kid. He sure sure would be my buddy no more. My, my brother, my sister. Exactly. None. There's no forgiveness for hurting a kid. And to anybody that says, well, from the from hurting a kid, I don't care what way you hurt a kid. If you hurt a kid, there's no forgiveness for the people that go, well, they paid their dues. They paid their time. That doesn't matter. He's not paying his dues or his time. How? And How? He's trying to get out of it. Supposedly the prosecutor, and, and folks, Feel free to contact the prosecutor's office in that county because Vermont mostly county. the prosecutor is supportive of him getting a motion to, to, to waive his prison sentence. You know what's fucked up? Feel free to contact the prosecutor's office and say, hey, I, I heard this conversation and uh... You know what's fucked up though on a serious note before we get off here? This man filed to have his criminal record, what was it, where he expunged. 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 And that's what got this whole thing started yeah. against. What is what the, new, the article said, if we read it right, I mean can't quote me on it because go know. type and mr wilson i'm sorry you can fly you barry, barry fucked barry. you over thank barry anybody wants to find it mr you know it's his last name is wilson i'm sure you guys can figure it out and look it up um just go just type it what county is it in claremont county just type in claremont county man found guilty of manslaughter february 29th of fucking 2004 which, and as a matter of fact, I may take a picture of the news article, of the head of the news article, so you guys can find it, if you guys care to look. Um, do I have any sympathy for this man? No. No. I'll drop. Do I think that he should go to prison? Yes. yes. That little girl had to suffer for 20 fucking years, while this man was fucking in his right mind living his life. This... The, she was six weeks old when, when, he, when he killed her brain, when he shook her hard enough to give her brain damage. And he only did two months back then for an assault. It fucking chokes me up, you guys, because... It's sad, man. It's fucking sad. But Beamer's okay with it, guys. Beamer's cool with the whole situation. I mean, he, he has no problems, dude. If you hurt a child, you, sh you should be a... Uh... Listen, I don't, I'm not saying this dude's a horrible fucking dude, but he committed it. He hurt a child all the years ago. There's no going back. He deserves to go do the time for it. He, Listen, if you fucking hurt somebody, let's say, let's say you killed, you murdered somebody when you was 18 years old because you're a dumb fucking kid and you made that mistake. 
and now you're 50 years old and you've changed your life. You became a preacher, gave your life to God, what the fuck ever, and you have lived the last fucking 30 years of your life as a 100% model citizen trying to make up for the right, rights for the wrongs that you've done. And all of a sudden, some DNA evidence comes up and you get caught for it. Them last 30 years don't matter. You still have to pay for what the fuck you did when you did it. See, see you guys, I disagree with that on this. I believe in an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. He, 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 he ended somebody's life, his life should be taken. And that's just the facts. I don't give a fuck, he, his life should be gone. Eye for an eye, tooth, you kill somebody, you hurt somebody, there should be no jail. You should, that family should be able to fucking murk you with, without any consequences. It should be up to the victims what happens. Same with, same with rape, same with child molestation. If you have that in you, there's no rehabilitation. Just like shaking a baby, there's no rehabilitation. You, you... And listen, I want to be clear mm -hmm. on this. When I say murder, I'm not saying somebody comes in your house and shoots your wife and your kids and you go take care of them. To me, that's senseless. Just you know what I mean? So, You're walking down the street and somebody shoots you in the back. Yeah, that's senseless murder. Then that's what should happen to you. Somebody goes to rob you, take your wallet, and you don't want to give it to them, and they put a fucking bullet in you and stab you. I mean, that's senseless. You, you don't, you, you, know, you know, it is what it is. And, Barry, you did this to your friend. Like, you are a hell of a friend. You're the type because, of friend I want my yeah, corner. Let me tell you why. Because, honestly, I would have never fucking found this if it wasn't for you. So, Mr. Wilson, thank your buddy Barry because he fucked you over. And he because made I you look... I guarantee there's at least 1,400 fucking people that's going to see this right now. Yeah. I mean, 1,400 people that's not in Ohio that would have never known. So... We're going to get into the call, and then we're going to get into, I don't know, We might sc I might screen record the whole thing. I might just take a picture of the, of the news article and just put it up here. Um, it's sad that a, that a kid had lived 20 years in a vegetated state and not know what life was really about. But Barry's okay with it, man. Barry's good with it. And not be able to enjoy life, just, just laying in a bed, just wasting away. Just more proof sad. that Barry Beamer is a low life piece of shit. Dude. That has never been taught. Actions, consequences, actions, consequences, and actions, consequences. And again, there's no fucking, there's no excuse to why this was done. There's no excuse. I don't want to hear I had a horrid day at work. I just want you to shut up. There's no fucking excuse. So let's get into it. Yes, sir. How are you, buddy? How are you doing? Oh, I'm on my way back from Williamsburg. I just had a ran a recovery toe pulling up. Sprinter ran out of the ditch. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, how's everything going? Uh, not too bad. They sentenced me to two years and then gave me a state of execution until this coming Wednesday. I'm supposed to go over and report Wednesday if we don't get anything else done, but they, my attorney filed the appeal and, and my attorney secretary called my attorney secretary and had her tell him to write a motion to suspend the sentence and put on the motion that there is no objection from the prosecution and that he would sign it. So, so what's that mean in a nutshell? Okay. Yeah, that's all I care about. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing the appeal. The, um, evidently, the appellate attorney that works in the prosecutor's office feels like Clark and Jones are both good cases to base this off of, and this should be dismissed. Yeah. Um, hey, usually you just pay a big happy fine, and they just want their money, and that's all they do. Oh, no, no. They didn't even impose a fine, buddy. Well, I'm just saying they usually, you know, impose like $1,000. Like me, it was like 900 and $900 fine for me. They just want the money, you know. You know how greedy they are. They just want your money. That's all I'm saying. So what's...